Hi, I'm Mikhail Maligold, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to cook an apple tart for Final Fantasy XIV. To start off, we're going to need the following. A lemon, some apples, some sugar. In-game, it's maple sugar, but out of game, we'll use regular. Some salt, some cinnamon, and that's basically it for the filling. We'll also be using a little bit of maple syrup to make up for the mapleness. First of all, we're gonna cut up our apples. We don't want them too thick or too thin, but you can cut them in whatever shape you like. Next, we're going to deal with our lemon. What we're going to do with it is zest it to get more of that delicious citrus flavor out. So go ahead, give it a zest. And then we're going to cut it in half and in quarters because that makes it easier for me to squeeze. So squeeze about half of that lemon right into your uh, bowl. Drop the lemon. Squeeze some more. Wash your hands. Next, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla, uh, cinnamon, if not more. Then, gonna deviate from the recipe a little bit and add a good spoonful of vanilla paste. And then, some maple syrup. That's to make up for the maple. Next, I used about three quarters of a cup of sugar. You can use more or less than this to whatever your tastes are. I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I uh, used a lot. Then you're gonna wanna stir it up. Oop, add a little bit of salt, I almost forgot. Give it a sturdy stir. Get that all nice and incorporated. Wonderful. We're gonna let that macerate for a little bit. Now we're gonna make our pie dough. All you're gonna need for this is flour, butter, salt, and a little bit of sugar. And some more. Uh, I used about a cup and a half of flour. That may have been a little bit too much, but you can adjust as needed. I'm gonna add to that a pinch of salt then about a tablespoon of sugar. That will help with both the taste and will let the crust brown more nicely. Can mix that up a little bit, get it incorporated, slap your hands, then we're gonna add the butter. You're gonna want to do what I think is about three quarters of a stick of butter with this, but I can't really tell because my butter comes in blocks. So cut however much butter you end up using into cubes and then add them to your flour. Next, cover all your cubes with flour, toss them up, and then start incorporating them in into each other. You want the final texture to be somewhere along the lines of really coarse sand, but don't overdo it. It's better to underdo it than overdo it. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of water. Most recipes call for about two, three tablespoons, but I added a little bit more because I'm stubborn and I want my dough to be sticky. Great. Now we're gonna roll the dough out. I have some flour on a sill pad, which is a non-stick sheet, and my uh, floured rolling pin. I'm gonna slap the dough on there and roll her out. The thickness at the end should be about an eighth of an inch. A little more, a little less is fine. But you don't want it too thick or too thin. Too thick and it won't cook enough. Too thin and you run the risk of a, of a pie leakage. Now we're going to arrange our apples on the, on the pie dough. 
This is going to be a freeform pie. So our apples are actually creating the shape of the pie. I went with the traditional circle. You can also do a rectangular pie if you really if you want to. I liked the idea of a rosette shape, so that's what I went for. in. Next, we just need to fold up the dough around the apples. Don't do it too tight, but gently encase your apples and pinch the seams. You can do a decorative crust pattern like I did, but you don't have to. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put this on a cookie tray. And there we go, ready for the oven almost. Next, egg. Crack that egg, put her in a bowl, whip that egg, seriously whip that egg. Next, brush it onto your pastry with a pastry brush. This will help it brown beautifully golden. And then sprinkle a little, little bit of sugar on it. If you have something like demerara sugar or a uh, sanding sugar, this would be a great time to use it for that extra crunch. You don't have to, though. All right, oven's on 375. Pie. Poke the pie. And she's going in. I let this, this pie bake for 45 minutes. You could probably go longer. I also noticed when I opened up the oven to take her out, there was a pool of mysterious liquid that had oozed out. Luckily, this mysterious liquid is just delicious spiced apple syrup, basically, so it's not that bad of a thing. Took her out, she looks beautiful, golden. Again, could have gone a little longer, but I was impatient because I wanted to eat a pie. And there she is, gorgeous. I cut a slice, put some cinnamon on her. She looks beautiful and, believe me, tastes even better. So lemony, so sweet, an excellent way. Anyway, thanks for tuning in.